In this Photoshop video, we're going to take a look at the Super Resolution command. And this is a tool available to you in Photoshop's Camera Raw plugin. And it allows you to double the resolution of your images. And it does so by employing machine learning. Now, this analyzes the content of your images, recognizes the uh, objects and details within and then boosts the resolution based on recognition of that detail. So it's a very advanced way to increase the resolution of your photos. And it can be used both on raw files like this or below this I have a low resolution JPEG. So you can use it on images straight out of camera and those that are much lower resolution too. So I'm going to begin here by opening up my two images into Camera Raw. So I'm in uh, Adobe Bridge here. I can highlight both files, right click on them and choose to open in Camera Raw. Now we can choose to apply the super resolution command either before we make our edits or afterwards. So say with my uh, raw image here, I'm just going to click the auto button here to make a quick enhancement to the tones we could perhaps boost the contrast slightly more and tweak the uh, temperature too if we like. And now I'm ready to boost the resolution so I'm going to right click over the image and choose enhance. Now in the enhance preview here you can see you get a close-up view of the image here. I can click and hold to see that's with my image before super resolution and that's with it after. So you can see how it's sharpening up details. In fact you can probably see more clearly if I click over uh, more recognizable details like the cyclist here. So again you can click and hold to toggle the enhancement off and on. Let's have a look how it works over perhaps a tree uh, in the background here or a building in the background here. So that's without enhancement and that's with. So you can see how it helps to pull out detail. In fact, in places, it's also sort of amplifying some of the image noise. So we might need to address that in a moment. Now, the command's quite a memory hog, so it helps to have a fast GPU. It gives you an estimated completion time here. For me, it's five minutes. Uh, there's also an option here we can either uncheck or or check super resolution and we have this other option for raw details and this is only available to us uh, with raw files but this just adds another level of enhancement to those details so we just want to make sure both those options are checked and then we can hit enhance. Then we just need to wait for our higher resolution file to be created and if we go to the bottom uh, left over here we can just check that the process is taking place. And after a few minutes, a new file will appear alongside our original. And if I just show the uh, file names here, you can see the new image has the suffix enhanced added to it. And it's a DNG raw file, which is Adobe's own raw file format. And if we just zoom in closer to part of our image here, you can see now those uh, details have been enhanced. If we go back to our original image, you can see the jump in resolution we've managed to achieve. Now, as I said, it might sort of amplify some of the image noise. So you can see the road here is starting to look grainy. So you may want to go into your detail settings here and apply a touch of noise reduction just to counter that. Or you could also uh, increase the sharpening. So it's worth bearing in mind, you might need to go and tweak your detail settings here after applying the super resolution command. Now let's go to our low res JPEG image here and we'll see how the command works on this. So this time again, we'll right click and go to enhance. And this time we don't have that option to uh, boost the raw details up here, but we do have that option to apply super resolution. So again, it's gonna take about five minutes. I'll hit enhance. And as before, after a few minutes, we get a new version alongside our original file here. And again, let's zoom in to see how we're looking here at some of these fine details. So you can see in our original image, the quality is really quite low, but if we go to our enhanced version, then we get a much finer level of detail. In fact, let's open both of those files up into Photoshop to give you a better idea of how the command is performed. So I'm gonna to go to my uh, workspace for a two up vertical view here. And let's uh, bring our image to a similar size here. So this is the enhanced version on the left and the original version on the uh, right here. So you can see how the detail in the tree is much improved thanks to the power of super resolution. And of course, if we wanted to go on and boost the resolution further, we can do that in Photoshop by using the image size command here as well. So we can just increase the resolution further with that command. 
So there we go, that's how to use the fantastic super resolution command in Photoshop's Camera Raw.